Hi guys! Happy Half Week Wednesday! Can you believe it? It's already halfway through this week. How were your nature walks? Did everyone get a chance to go outside in their backyard or maybe walk around the block? I just got back from my nature walk or a walk around my neighborhood and I saw lots of great signs of spring. Green grass, I heard birds singing. So what were the kinds of things that you guys saw? Um, I have an exciting announcement. Guess what? Somebody told me that Zeke lost his first tooth. That's very exciting, Zeke. Congratulations. Now, if we were back in the classroom, we would hang this tooth up on the wall. Everybody gets to hang a tooth when they've lost a tooth, and then we make little tally marks. Sometimes, um, by the end of the year, there's quite a few tally marks. You might have lost more than one tooth. But um, this, we're just going to have to show it in our virtual classroom. If anybody else has lost a tooth, let me know, and I will recognize you guys, too. Anyway, um, it's Dino Day. Today is the last day. We're going to add our last dinosaur. Um, we will have one more dinosaur day with a writing assignment next week, but today we're adding our very last dinosaur to talk about. And I thought it was the Tronodon, but it isn't. Guess what it is? It's a raptor. The Velociraptor. Rawr. And he's pretty amazing because unlike the big dinosaur like this guy, rawr, he is super tiny. But I can tell what he eats by the way he is made. I can see he has claws on his feet and he walks on two legs. Claws on his hands and teeth. What does he eat? Yes, he is a meat eater. You're right. So your information sheets for your velociraptors are attached to the lesson. Remember, you do not need to print those off. They're just for you to um, read over with mom and dad, brother and sister, whoever can help you out. Um, I will read through it too. And then you're going to take this information and choose your interesting fact for your research page. Velociraptor. Here we go. The Velociraptor lived during the late Cretaceous period. They grew to about six feet long and weighed only 55 pounds. Yeah, that's the size of hmm, maybe what? Probably a second grader. So not very big. They don't weigh very much. They grew to about two feet tall. Well, I'm five foot something, so they're smaller than I am. That's amazing. They were not very big at all. The meaning of its name was quick plunderer. Velopter, velop, vel, I can't even say that. Velociraptors were scavengers. As well as hunting small animals, they would eat the leftovers of bigger dinosaurs or the, the um, bigger dinosaurs left behind. So a T-Rex would come and eat their fill of a dinosaur and leave the carcass or their bones behind and then this scavenger would come and eat the rest of the meat. So he was a meat eater but he was probably a little too small to actually take down big dinosaurs. The velociraptors were believed to be very smart. Man, I think that's interesting. Because of their large brains, they could hunt together in packs and were very agile, very quick. They had large claws on the back feet and they walked on two legs like a, do you see those claws? Like a T-Rex. Many scientists now believe that velociraptors and other dinosaurs may have been covered in feathers. They have found fossils in China that have feather quill knobs, kind of where the feather would have been attached to the dinosaur body. The feathers were most likely for warmth and not to help them fly because we know this guy was not a flying dinosaur was he he was a running one he ran quickly all right so there is your information sheet i know this is kind of blurry yours um will be much clearer and then your size sheet is right here it's also attached where it says that it is a carnivore and um you can see in this picture that that person is actually right over here whoop that person is bigger than the dinosaur, which we haven't seen that before. So 
your intro your information sheet looks like this remember you um there are two attached to the page uh, so you only need to fill out one once we get back to school we can attach all of your home uh, school work like this into your book and the ones that we did at school I gotta get a drink you can get a drink too okay so Velociraptor what does it eat? Meat. Here was the interesting fact that I wrote. I thought it was amazing that they had large brains because we talked about a dinosaur whose brain was so small it was the size of a walnut. So that's pretty amazing that this tiny dinosaur had a big brain. And then there's my silly picture. You could even add another velociraptor because the information sheet said that they hunt in packs which means like wolves more than one velociraptor um, eating at the same time so when you fill yours at home make sure that you have your finger spaces for your interesting fact do your best for kids spelling and um, color nicely that would be great okay guys so we've done all of our dinosaur pages each one um, like I said will be attached to your um, the cover of your book and it will be your very own special dinosaur research book are you guys ready? It's that time. It's the time in the lesson to do, 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 read our story. I'm excited because we're just about halfway through. <coughs> Excuse me. Just about halfway through. Dinosaurs before dark. Can you remember what happened last time? Mm, I'm looking back and oh yes. Annie got walked down or climbed down the ladder right in front of the Pteranodon. If you remember right, the treehouse had transported them back in time. And this, we would have to get in our time machine and go f so far back past our timeline in our classroom. Way, 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 way back in time, millions of years. So they went back in time. My prediction about the chapter, chapter four, Henry, um, was I think they might, I think Annie might name this Pteranodon Henry. Let's find out. Jack gasped as Annie held out her hand. Oh, brother, she was always trying to make friends with animals. But this was going too far. Don't get too close to him, Annie, Jack shouted. But Annie touched the Tronodon's crest. She stroked his neck. She was talking to him. What in the world was she saying? Jack took a deep breath. Okay. He would go down to, it would be good to examine the creature and take some notes, like a scientist. Do you remember what a dinosaur scientist is called? Remember that? A paleontologist, yes. Jack started down the rope ladder. When he got to the ground, Jack was only a few feet away from the creature. The creature stared at Jack. His eyes were bright and alert. He's soft, Jack, said Annie. He feels like Henry. Jack snorted. He's no dog, Annie. Oh, Henry was their dog back home in Fog Creek. That makes sense. <laughs> Feel him, Jack, said Annie. Jack didn't move. Jack stepped forward. Don't, uh, don't think, Jack. Just do it. Jack stepped forward. He put out his arm very cautiously. He brushed his hand down over the creature's neck. Interesting. A thin layer of fuzz covered the Tronodon's skin, kind of like we just read about with the feathers. Soft, huh? said Annie. Jack reached into his backpack and pulled out a pencil and a notebook. He wrote, Fuzzy Skin. So Jack is being a scientist. He's writing down notes, kind of like we write down the interesting facts on our dinosaur page. What are you doing, asked Annie. Taking notes, said Jack. We're probably the first people in the whole world to ever see a real life Tronodon, and that's probably true. Jack looked at the Tronodon again. The creature had a bony crest on the top of his head. The crest was longer than Jack's arm. So they're talking about this part right here. Ooh, it is pretty long. I wonder how smart he is, Jack asked. 
Very smart, said Annie. Don't count on it, said Jack. His brain's probably no bigger than a bean. Is that true? We'd have to look up that fact, huh? No, he's very smart. I can feel it, said Annie. I'm going to call him Henry. Oh, my prediction was correct. She's calling him Henry, too. Jack wrote in his notebook, small brain, but I like what he did. He wrote a question mark. Can you see that? because he doesn't know for sure. He's going to have to research if um, a Velociraptor has a, or I'm sorry, a Pteranodon has a small brain or not. He's going to have to look that up. So we wrote a question mark because he's not sure. Jack looked at the creature again. Maybe he's a mutant, he said. The creature tilted his head. And he laughed. He's no mutant, Jack. Well, what's he doing here then? Where is this place, said Jack. Annie leaned close to the Tronodon. Do you know where we are, Henry? She asked softly. The creature fixed his eyes on Annie. His long jaws were opening and closing like a giant pair of scissors. Are you trying to talk to me, Henry? She asked. Forget it, Annie, Jack wrote in his notebook. Mouth like scissors. Did we come to a, tong a time long ago, Henry? asked Annie. Is this a place from long ago? Suddenly she gasped, Jack! He looked up. Annie was pointing toward the hill. On top stood a huge dinosaur. <gasps> so not just the Tronodon are they going to meet. Maybe they will meet a T-Rex, a Potosaurus, Stegosaurus, <gasps> Triceratops, I don't know. We're going to have to continue to read our story. Um, next chapter is called Gold in the Grass. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Do you really think they'll find some gold? Maybe. We'll have to read. We will continue our story next time. All right, guys, have fun with your dino worksheets and love you lots. I will see you next time. Bye.